We have our reference image, we can begin. To have a better access to the image, we can use reference apps. Best one is pure ref, but you can use something completely free, like Quadro. In Blender, we start with the block at stage to get the rough shape of the model. It's mostly extrude and beveling, nothing complicated. We just want to make the base first, then get to the details. We can add solidify modifier to add some thickness to the body. We can get another copy of the side of the model and remove some parts of it to turn it into the spoon. For cutting the objects, use boolean modifier and select the difference option. Or if you have bool tool add-on activated, select both objects and press ctrl slash. We can use array modifier to repeat these models so we don't have to duplicate each time. For extruding along normals, in the edit mode while in phase selection, just press Ctrl F and choose extrude along normals. If your bevels don't act right, go to object mode and press Ctrl A, then apply the scale to reset the scale. For adding nerve knob to the body, in the edit mode, go to face menu and click on trees to quad. Then go to face again and click on poke faces this time. Repeat the same process all over again. Then extrude all the poked faces along normals. For rotating objects around 3D cursor, set the pivot point to 3D cursor. Now we can rotate the box around the object and use it to carve in the shell with boolean.
for converting quad faces to round shape and other objects, enable loop tools add-on in the add-on menu. It's free and comes with Blender. For creating pendants, create a plane, then remove three vertices, select the remain vertex and go to object mode. In the modifier tab, select the screw modifier and set the step to 3 or more if you want other shapes. Then we need to convert it into curve. For that, in the object mode, go to object menu on the top of the screen, then convert and select the curve option. For beveling curve object, select the vertices you want to bevel, then press Ctrl Shift B. Once you are done adjusting the curve, go to Object Data and in the Geometry tab, adjust the depth. Don't forget to check the Fill Caps option. Then go to Object Menu and convert the curve to Mesh. After that, right click and press Shade Auto Smooth. Using the same method, let's add a metal wire here and shape it. After you are done with the model and got the results you wanted, you need to clean the topology before going for the UV unwrapping process. Basically all you need to do is to make sure all the vertices connected to each other and there is no end guns in the model as possible. For UV unwrapping, first we need to create a checker material. You can follow the steps shown in the video. Don't forget to set the generated type to UV grid.
for live unwrapping, in the option menu on the top right corner, turn on live unwrap. Then select the sharp edges in your model and right click, then select mark scene. Do this for all of the parts, until there is no stretching or weird shapes in the UV tile. Packing the UVs, you can use a free add-on called UV Packer. All you need to do is to go to edit mode, then select all of the parts. In the UV editing tab, select the add-on and press the pack button. And done! For important to substance, it's better to assign a material to all parts of your 3D model so that you have more control over texturing different parts. This is how it should look like at the end. After you've done that, select all of your objects, go to File, Export and choose FBX. In the Export menu, remember to select Selected Objects. Then hit the Export FBX button. In Substance, open your FBX file and select the document resolution to 1K, 2K or 4K as you like. Uncheck Auto Unwrap option, because we already have the UVs unwrapped. After it was opened, in the top of the screen, hit the Bake button to bake your texture maps. And in the pop-up menu, press Bake Selected Textures. You can texture the model however you want. We added a simple rusted metal material, nothing special. I have a video about texturing in Substance if you want to know more. Link is on the top right corner. For exporting textures to Blender, click on File and Export Textures, or press Ctrl Shift E. Then in the Export panel, choose your output location and set the output template to Blender. For file type, set it to JPEG or PNG and choose 4K as the size and click on export. Proceed to add the materials back to Blender. To add a sci-fi twist, we can make the string lit with any color we want or add some golden strips alongside of the model. We can also add a lit text as well. We also gonna bring some sci-fi symbols to make the model more interesting. For making the plain textures transparent, use the mix color node, then connect the texture color to factor and result to alpha, as shown in the video. Place it on the right spot, change it to mix, so the outside of the shape stays black and inside turns transparent, so the light only get through the center. Then place the rest on the lights. For games, it's better to bake the stickers to a texture, but I don't need it for games right now. I'm gonna render it in Eevee. If you're using Blender 4, you can use AGX in color management to get better looking renders. I'm also using Polyhaven add-on for adding HDRI maps. It's a free add-on for Polyhaven websites. You can easily drag and drop 3D models, textures and HDRI maps directly to a scene really easy. So yeah, use it. Block the lights from both sides using two planes. And this is the results in Eevee. I also changed the lighting a bit and rendered another one in Cycles. And this is the final look. Hope you find the video helpful. If if you did, be sure to check out the link in the description to download the full real-time process video plus the 3D files of this object. See you on the next one. Peace.